Hi, I'm Tom Carson with the Alpine Stars Mobile Medical Unit. This unit goes to every round of the Monster Energy Supercross Series, and we provide the on-track medical at all of the events. And what that means is we bring a doctor, a trainer, a nurse. We use an EMT, a paramedic, and we also use the local ambulance service to provide the, the care at each facility. As you can see behind me, we have a... 18-wheeler, which is basically a mobile medical center. So when we go inside, we're going to do that here in a little bit. Doc's going to give you an in-depth tour. You'll see exactly what it is. It's basically a mobile ER on wheels. One of the unique features that we have is these Kawasaki mules. And we're going to kind of go through that a little bit and show you. Anybody can go buy this Kawasaki mule, but there's a lot of features on here that are specialty or one-off for the Alpine Stars team. So here with the Kawasaki Mule, some of the unique features with this, and Dr. Bodner is going to kind of show you some of the stuff here right now. You'll see we have some features like this drawer. This was specially built with all of his needs inside of here. I mean, he has everything that he may need in an, e in an ER. We have the, the backboard, which um, this is a special backboard, and maybe he can tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, these, are, these are made to help scoop a rider off a track when it's sometimes hard to get him positioned on a standard backboard. So this will open at both ends so you can bring two separate sides together, get him in, move him off the track, and it's easier to transport into an ambulance or to our rig or to the mule for that matter. One of the other unique features is you'll see this little knob here. This is a, a sliding unit. So you can see that the backboard, it slides in and out to help reduce any extra trauma to the, an injured rider. Yeah, one of the benefits is uh, you don't have anything in your way to, to have to move and actually physically pick the backboard all the way. Once you put the rider in position, then it just takes two or a third person to slide them all the way in. Much more comforting for the rider and safer all around. You can see there's a seat in the back. Maybe a rider doesn't need to be required to be laid down. He can actually step up on the tailgate, sit down, there's a, a seat belt so that the guy doesn't fall out. And then he's transported back to the uh, mobile medical unit for further evaluation. A couple of the other features on this, you can see that there's a, a door here. So the doc has a lot of his stuff in here. This is where he carries a lot of the things that uh, he may need out on the track, such as. You can pull that. Well, we have uh, on the track suctioning, we have different uh, ventilation ma materials if someone has trouble with their breathing, obviously bleeding things, we have access immediately to grab it out of here or in the, in the top of the hood too. And now let's go inside, Doc Bodner will give you an in-depth tour what goes inside the mobile medical unit. Okay, hi, I'm Dr. Bodner, I'm the medical director for the Alpine Star Mobile Medical Center. This is inside where some of the riders get to get checked out once they come off the track or even routine maintenance. Actually, in the back, somebody getting routine maintenance now, and that's something we can do to keep them uh, kind of ready for the race today. This is an area here where you would see and get our bed on this side, another bed on your right, which is one of our main uh, treatment beds, an additional bed you can see in the back, so we can do three riders at any time. We have chairs as well for some of the walking wounded. Simple ankle injuries can be taken care of. We also have monitors in the back. We have monitors, three monitors here, EKG machine. Uh, behind you is our x-ray unit, as well as an ultrasound. So we can use an AED that we use in case, uh, even for crowd members, any kind of cardiac event. So it covers quite a bit of coverage. I'd like to give a shout out to the Kirk Caselli Foundation. They donated us the ultrasound, so it's been a big help to assess riders during their injuries. So we're really proud of that. And Road Recovery also had, with the AED sign back there, we have an AED, and they are a big, big uh, proponent of us and sponsor for us as well. So, again, all, everything that gets riders uh, safer back on the track, that's what we're all about. And this is uh, some of our technical equipment on here. We have an ultrasound machine, so it's good for looking at different body parts, the lungs, the abdominal cavity, those type of things. They might get injured on the track, as well as the x-ray unit. You can see a shot up there. And our, our unit here that's portable, it runs with us throughout the series, and along with Obviously, the monitor's up top. This is a cardiac monitor, just like you'd see in your emergency room, so we can manage people uh, depending how their vital signs are and blood pressure and uh, keep them uh, safer out, out in the old days. We couldn't do that. Okay. As you can see, uh, we're working on a rider here, another preventative thing. Uh, we see a lot of ankle sprains, wrist sprains, just from repetitive use on the track, 
and uh, we managed a lot of old injuries too to kind of get them feeling better. They want to get out there and keep racing for everybody. So um, probably the extremities are more common, you know, with ankles and knees, things like that. Uh, definitely the risk from landing on hard on triples. But it's uh, just about any body part we can work on here, and it's helping. Like we have our athletic trainer, AJ, here, and uh, it's it's a big help because we have specialized people for each job that needs to be done here in the rig, and uh, we can get these guys out and riding again. Yeah, and all everything here is uh, thanks to Alpine Stars because they donate and Rotary Recovery that uh, we can keep on the road, and that costs no charge to all the riders and to their family, anybody in the industry. And Fel thanks, obviously, to Feld Motorsports for all their support. We couldn't do it without them. Okay, and now, now we're in the upstairs of our uh, semi. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of different cabinets and compartments. This whole cabinet here is nothing but rain gear. Obviously, we, some of these tracks don't either have a roof or at the Outdoor Nationals, we need rain gear. On the opposite side, these are all crew lockers. We have a lot of staff that come each and every week, so I have to have a place to put all of their belongings. We have a closet just for jackets and the team pit shirts. All the, the lockers on the right side for the people looking, these, this is all extra medical supplies. We have it stocked pretty well downstairs, but you can see we have the ace wraps, the cast padding, the chest tube tray, the head blocks. Move on back to the next cabinet. You can see, I mean, we have the respiratory supplies, uh, some more taping supplies, some splint materials, the saline bottles, and the saline itself. So everything that you can think of that was possibly being in a, in a hospital or an ER. So I do a lot of work with the, on the protection side with the Alpine Stars products, whether it be the knee braces, the neck braces. And that kind of gives you a little bit of tour of the bottom floor, the top floor, and everything inside the Alpine Stars mobile medical unit. Okay, one of the other unique features to, that is kind of common in all the American race team, th this is a 2011 Peterbilt. Uh, it's not really a truck that they have in Europe, but this is about a 500 horsepower tractor, 18 speeds, and as you can walk around and you'll see, it's specially built for this application. It's a longer wheelbase truck because we have these red things, our water tanks. So that enables us to wash the Kawasaki mules at the end of the event, wash all our equipment and gear. Um, as you can see, it also allows you a little bit of room to get up in here and work on the front of the trailer if if something's necessary. 